Hello everyone, welcome to this free virtual story time. My name is Madonna Lazo Smith. I'm a speech language pathologist and a mom to a one year old. So this event is completely free and we did a live version of this, decided to do a YouTube version so you have access to it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm really passionate about what I do and I love being a mom and a speech language pathologist. And I just want to bring value to you and your family where I can and reach out um, to as many people as I can. And my mission is really to educate, to empower, and to encourage parents and families to build a strong relationship with their kiddos and to really maximize their development. And today we have such a special story time because we are going to be talking about fun with food. We'll be singing songs and reading books about food. And we also have a special guest. Um, Renata Trebbing. Renata is a healthy food blogger and a nutrition coach and she will join us in the end of the story time. So parents stay tuned until the very end because we're going to give you guys some tips and tidbits. This story time is special because I'm not only, only going to be reading books and singing songs but parents tune in because I will be giving some fun facts and who doesn't love food right? All right, so as we get started, for parents who have little babies, this is still beneficial for them as long as you are not sitting them in front of the screen. Don't worry if they don't pay attention to me, I'll have them pay attention to you. That face-to-face -face interaction with you is the best thing. You are their best toy. So just have me on the side, even make a little triangle where um, your baby sees maybe me and um, you, and what I'll do is kind of walk you through and coach you through these activities. And the main thing is you talking to your baby and maybe just um, talking about what you see on the screen and what you're hearing. All those things, they love just hearing your voice and seeing your face. So make sure that you are their main um, source of interaction during this story time. Okay, and also just to let you guys know that I will be using some sign language throughout this story time. Kids, feel free to follow along. It's great to learn new things and sign language might be one of those things that you're learning that's new. Sign language, as a speech language pathologist, I use it for a range of kiddos. I even use it for my son. It is such a great bridge between that spoken language and that gestural language. Um, developmentally, we learn more of our gestures and um, nonverbal language before we learn how to talk. So um, sign language is really just a great bridge for that. So what you guys will see me do is use some of that sign language. And our first thing is our hello song. So kids, go ahead and follow along with me. We're going to sign friends. Okay, let's sing the hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's nice to see you today. Hello. So our very um, first food book has to do with the alphabet. How many of you guys know the ABCs? You do? Okay, come on and sing with me. Let's sing the ABCs, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! All right, you guys are ready for our first book. Our first book is called Pandas Love Pickles mm, by Liz Lynch. I love pickles too. Let's see. Have you ever tried something new to eat? I hope so. Alligators try apples. Beavers try burritos. 
Cows try cinnamon buns and dolphins try donuts. Mmm. Elephants try edamame. Flamingos try figs. Giraffes try grapes. Hippos try hamburgers. Iguanas try ice cream. Jellyfish try jam. Mm -mm. Kangaroos try kiwis. Lions try lasagna. Monkeys try meatballs. Narwhals try noodles. Owls try oranges. Pandas try pickles. Quails try quesadillas. Rhinos try radishes. Sheep try sushi. Mmm. Tigers try tofu. Look at that, friends. Urals try upside down cake and vultures try vegetables. Walruses try watermelon. X-ray fish try everything. Look at that, all that food. Yaks try yogurt smoothies and zebras try zucchini. Ooh, and they love everything, especially the panda. <gasps> wow. So friends, just know because you, um, just because you haven't tried um, something doesn't mean that it's not good. Try it. You might actually like it, okay? So um, fun fact number one, parents, um, when you show that you are enjoying food, even having a smile on your face, research actually shows that your, ch um, that your child might be more willing to try that food that is new or a food that they previously rejected, okay? And another thing too is that it is pretty developmental for kids um, more so around 12 to 18 months to um, be pickier eaters, but they're just testing out what they like and what they don't like. But just because um, they don't like something one time doesn't mean to not try it again. Research also says that it takes, um, we think it might take five times for someone to try something and they don't like it, but it actually takes more than that, about eight to 15 times for someone to accept or tolerate that food. So keep that in mind. All right, my friends, let's see what we have next for our story time. Ooh, this one is going to be a fun book. This one's all about food and there's so many awesome colorful foods. This one is called Raw Raw Radishes. Raw Raw Radishes, a vegetable chat by April Pold Sayre. All right. Raw, raw radishes, red and white. Carrots are calling, take a bite. Oh boy, bok choy, Brussels sprouts. Broccoli, cauliflower, shout it out. Pile of peppers, bananas, bells. Crunch their colors, smell their smells. Call for cayenne, pick poblano. Hola habanero, jalapeno, serrano. Lettuce, lima, go green beans. Cucumbers, cool. Karabis, queen. Eggplants, extraordinary. Pumpkins, art. Don't eat zucchini? Time to start. Snag some sweet corn, shuck an ear. Celebrate celery, give a cheer. 
onion, scallion, leek, and shallot. Grab that garlic, please your palate. Mmm. Head for cabbage, green for sale. Fall for fennel, Swiss chard kale. Root for rutabagas, bounce for beets. Pile up parsnips, turnips treats. Stash some squash, fill your cupboard. Butternut, buttercup, acorn hubbard. Potatoes, tomatoes, yum a yam. Slice them, mash them, wham, wham, wham. Ask for asparagus, pea pods, please. Thank you, farmers. Thank you, bees. Sun and seasons, leaf and stalk, know them, grow them. Veggies rock! Look at all these yummy veggies. Have you guys heard of that saying, eat the rainbow? That's what it means, eating the rainbow, lots of different color foods is really good for you and can make you stronger and bigger. So kids, don't forget to try out those yummy new foods. Okay, now we're ready to sing some fun songs. I'm going to teach you guys a song and you guys can teach your younger siblings if you have some, or you can play with your dolls or your toys and sing the song with me. We're gonna use some sign language. It goes like this. Mommy and daddy, I want more to eat, more to eat more to eat. Mommy and daddy, I want more to eat. And then I am all done. Can you guys do it again with me? Follow along, okay? Mommy and daddy, I want more to eat. More to eat. More to eat. Mommy and daddy, I want more to eat. Then I am all done. Yay! You guys did a great job singing. Have you ever tried any of the foods that we talked about in our Raw Raw Radish book? There are some foods in here that I didn't even know. Like Karabi's Queen. Doesn't that look so cool? Ooh. Have you guys tried garlic? Raise your hand if you have. Ooh, has anybody tried cauliflower? Mmm, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to sing a song about the ocean and eating. This was a big hit. Um, let's see if I can go to the ocean. Hmm, swim, swim, swim. Let's see. Ocean, ocean, swim, swim. There it is, there's the ocean. Are you guys ready to sing Slippery Fish with me? Yeah, you are? Okay, let's go. Ready? Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Boom. Gump, gump. Oh no, it's been eaten by a, an octopus, an octopus, squiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus. Gump, gump, gump. Oh no, it's been eaten by a, a tuna fish, a tuna fish splashing through the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish. Goomp, goomp, goomp. <gasps> oh no, it's been eaten by a, a great white shark, a great white shark lurking in the water. A great white shark, a great white shark. Goomp, goomp, goomp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting through the water. 
humongous whale, humongous whale, whoop, whoop, goop. And the humongous whale says, burp. All right. So parents, just to let you guys know, there is a strategy or strategies called expose, explore, and expand. So remember that when you are trying to introduce new foods to your kiddos, remember that sensory play is really important because it may, uh, helps them figure out different senses and will help them be more open to maybe trying new foods. So talking about slimy, sticky, things like that. Gardening with your kiddos also and going grocery shopping. Those can help actually um, introduce them to different types of foods. Food play Play, pretending to, um, to pretending to eat um, foods, um, baking, all these different things are very helpful for expanding and exploring different foods for your kiddos. Okay, okay, my friends. Guess what? We were talking about eating, whoop, 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 and we're also going to feed some fun friends. I wonder which friends um, are going to pop up. Hmm, who knows what, who says woof, woof, woof? Who says that? A doggy, you are right. Look at my doggy friend. I think my doggy friend wants to eat. What do you think our doggy friend wants to eat? Yummy food. Oh, look what I have. I have a bone. Okay, let's feed your doggy. Woof, woof, woof. Mmm, yummy. Let's see what other friends we can feed. There's a kitty cat and an elephant. Who do you think wants to eat this peanut? You said elephant. Yep, let's feed the elephant. Mm, yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you for feeding the elephant. And something swimming. I think this yummy fish is for the kitty. Who likes fish? I do. Mm, just like the fishy. Ready? Delicious. Let's feed one more friend. Wait a minute, there's two friends. There's a mouse, squeak, squeak, squeak. And there's a bunny. Let's feed the bunny. Which one do you think the bunny wants to eat? The strawberry, right. Here we go, bunny. Eat your strawberry. Om, 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 om. Yum, 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 mm, delicious. Okay, Mousy, here you go. Here's your yummy cheese. Mm, thank you, friends, for helping me feed my animal friends. Okay, bye, friends. Bye, animal friends. Now we are ready for our last book. Llama Llama. Yum, 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 by Anna Duini. Duini. <laughs> okay, Llama Llama loves to eat snacks and meals and special treats, toast and eggs and OJ too. How does breakfast smell for you? <sighs> Smells good. Snack is crackers and a drink. Llama Llama's juice is pink. Lunch is a sandwich, PB and J. Llama's ready, time to play. Shopping at the grocery store, cheese and veggies, and so much more. Bananas make a special treat, fun to peel and fun to eat. Dinner has spaghetti sauce and a nice green salad. Toss, toss, toss. Dinner's over, time for bed. Bedtime stories, tummy fed. All this food is yum, yum, yum. Can you scratch and sniff? 
fun. So this book has different sensory um, exploration on it. You can actually scratch and sniff it, friends. But since you aren't here with me, I'm going to scratch and sniff it. <sighs> Does anybody know how a cherry smells like? Yeah. How about orange juice? Do you know how orange juice smells like? Awesome, look at all the yummy food. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, my friends, now we're all done with story time. We are going to sing the Bye Bye song. And parents, after the Bye Bye song, please stay tuned for a fun um, parent tidbit that we have planned for you, okay? Let's sing the Bye Bye song. Bye Bye Friends, Bye Bye Friends. Bye bye friends, it's nice to see you and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. All right, everyone. So I have here with us our special guest, Renata. Hello, Renata. Thank you for joining us. So parents, Renata has really awesome tidbits for us about um, food and how you can get your kids to eat their veggies. So real fast, Renata is a healthy food blogger and a nutrition coach, and she is also a really incredible mom. So I'm happy to have her here today with us. And I'll let her go ahead and chat with you guys. Thank you, Madonna. I'm so, so happy to be here. Today, I'm going to share with you my answers to one of the most commonly asked questions, which is, how can I get my kids to eat veggies? And I'm going to share with you five super easy, super simple tips that should hopefully help your kids try more vegetables. Now, the first one is to be a scientist. Oftentimes, as parents, we place so much emotion and stress on ourselves and on our kids based upon how many fruits and vegetables they're eating. But what helps me to remove that emotion from it is actually to act like I'm a scientist. And what I mean by that is when you act like you're a scientist, you're often testing a hypothesis. You're testing a theory to see if it will give you an end result that you want. So this is just a really useful way of thinking so that we actually don't put so much pressure on ourselves or on our kids, and we can just continue to try things over and over again to help our kids to eat more vegetables. The second tip is to try new ways of prepping our vegetables. Sometimes we get into a rut of preparing veggies the same ways over and over again, and then wondering why we're not getting a different result. So think about, are there any new ways that we can prep our veggies? There's roasting, steaming, pureeing. You can even use an air fryer or put them out on the grill. There's so many different ways that you can prep veggies. Keep trying different ways, and you never know, your kids might find one way that they really, really like. The third tip is to add different flavors. And this could be anything from herbs, spices, or even different kinds of sauces. There's so many amazing ones out in the grocery stores nowadays that are really healthy as well as delicious. Or there's tons of recipes for different sauces that you can make at home. Getting your kids involved can also be super helpful to finding a new flavor that they will be willing to try. Number four is be a role model. So it's kind of difficult for our kids to eat more veggies if we're not eating more veggies too. So I highly encourage everyone as parents or as an adult that's going to help another child to eat more vegetables to encourage them by eating more vegetables too. This is a super simple thing to do. And just like Madonna has mentioned in the past, have a big smile on your face. Talk about how excited you are to try a new vegetable. Talk about what are the textures? What's the flavor of the vegetable? Really make it a super interactive experience so that kids can get really involved and start thinking about vegetables in new and exciting ways. And my last tip, tip number five is hide the veggies. Yes, I said it. Sometimes there are Really, the only way for us as parents to get our kids to try a new veggie is to hide it in a recipe that we know that they like. Whether it be pancakes or mac and cheese, there's a ton of different ways to incorporate veggies into lots of recipes. So honestly, if your kids get older and they figure it out that there's actually vegetables in a particular recipe that they love, do not worry about it. It actually helps us to start the conversation about how veggies can be in so many different meals and in so many different forms. So don't worry about it. If hiding veggies 
in a particular recipe is super helpful, then just keep doing it. And of course, if you need some recipes to help your kids to try more vegetables, make sure you check out my website, nourishwithrenata.com, or connect with me on social media, Facebook or Instagram at nourish underscore with underscore Renata. to provide um, our families and kids. And remember families that I challenge you guys to try new foods, not just the kids, but you too as parents and to have a smile on your face and make it really fun. And also um, thank you Renata for letting us know where to find you. If you guys want all this information that we provided, we had um, accumulated an awesome handout. Go ahead and contact me. I'll give you my information below and all the great tips and tricks that we have. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good one.